Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to see how we can use the behaviors targeting, which we get in detail targeting in the Facebook ads campaign. So as we saw earlier also, while you're doing detailed targeting, you also get an option to use behaviors. Behaviors is going to be a type of targeting in which we can reach out people based on their purchase intent, their behavior in the sense that what activities they're doing on the Facebook account. Okay. Apart from that, you can also reach out people based on their device usage over here as well. So Facebook gives you various options to target from in the behaviors category as well, like anniversary behaviors. Okay. So you, if you go into these, you will be able to see subcategories as well. Like under behaviors, you have mobile device users. Okay. You can see consumer classification. So there are various options which you will get over here, which you can use from expats. Okay, so now what you can do is you can select the category which best suits your business in this particular manner. So now multiple options are given to you. As you can see, purchase behavior over here, engage shoppers. So in this case, what we are trying to do is we are trying to target those people whose behavior has been into doing a lot of online shopping. So this way you can target your customers based on their activity and the behavior they have projected on Facebook. So now you can use this as well for targeting options. So as you can see, we have done multiple targetings right now, which is going to be behaviors, demographics, interest targeting as well. So all these audiences, these core audiences, which we have selected will overlap with each other. And we are able to target a very refined, uh, relevant audience to whom we are going to show our ads. So that way our chances of generating sales or leads increases tremendously. In addition to this, you also have option to define further wherein we can again do other targetings which can be done. And these again will further overlap with our audience and we can go ahead and target them again in this particular way. We'll get all the three options once again to use. So this way guys, we can do multiple different combinations of audience targetings, core audience targetings, which we can do here on Facebook and then use it to show our ads to most relevant users so that our chances of getting a click and a potential sale increases tremendously. I hope this makes sense and now you understand the behaviors targeting, how that can be done and you can use this in your business. Thank you so much guys for listening into this session today and I will see you in the next video.